It's the Brewers and the Cincinnati Reds in game two of this three-game weekend series. The Reds snapped their five-game winning streak last night by falling to the Brewers trying to bounce back after a 7-3 loss last night. Great Council's Milwaukee Brewers coming in just a game behind the Reds in the National League Central Division standings with a 48-41 and record. Colin Ray is on for the crew today. He's been terrific. He's won his last two. He beat the Pirates his last time out. Before that, beat the Mets. A combined 13 innings for Ray in those two starts. Only three runs allowed. This is his fourth start against Cincinnati. Beat the Reds back on June 3rd, a 10 to 8 victory. He pitched extremely well. Half swing and a miss. Struck him out. A low inside sinker. Ate him up. 61st strikeout on the year for Colin Ray. Here is the second baseman. Today, the DH, Jonathan India. Milwaukee comes in having won 14 of their last 21 games. Ground ball guided up the middle, out of the reach of the shortstop at Thomas ranging to his left. A little trouble out in center field for Tapia and Weimer. India started towards second, seeing the bobble, but he hangs on at first base. Ellie De La Cruz will bat. And the pitch. Bouncer back over the middle, and Willie Adamas will step on second base to get the force there. Reds get nothing on a base hit and leave one stranded. Cincinnati nothing, Milwaukee coming up. Luke Weaver threw the ball awfully well his last time out for the Reds. Control, getting ahead of hitters, certainly going to be part of the key for Weaver's success. Two are up, two are down in the bottom half of inning number one and Willie Adamas coming up. And Adamas sends it way back. This one's going to fly. Willie Adamas does it again. One to nothing, Brewers. Adamas number 15. No doubt about that one. Talk about somebody who's turned things around. The club leader in homers. 15 for Adamas. That cheese head fits him perfectly. Weaver surrenders one on a long home run from Willie Adamas. It's one to nothing Milwaukee at the end of one. Will Benson will hit left handed leading off here as the Reds are down by one here at the top of the third inning. Swing and a high fly. Deep right. Perkins bending back. And that's gone. Benson ties the game. Rocks it to right one all. And the bullpen celebrates on the ricochet. And the Cincinnati Reds have now homer in an outright franchise record 22 straight games that breaks a tie with the mark set in 1956. This is an all-time power surge for the oldest team in professional baseball. A long home run by Will Benson ties it up. One apiece here as we go to the bottom of the third. Lead-off man aboard for the second consecutive inning. 0 for 1 for Yelich. He's having himself a great homestand. Ground ball. Fair inside the bag. Hits off the sidewall. It'll be extra base is as Weimer will be sent around third. Here's the throw. It's cut off. The Brewers have the lead. It's two to one. Joey Weimer able to score from first base on the double by Christian Yelich. Hit off the sidewall down the right field line. If it gets into that right field corner, it's three easily for Yelich. Instead, he gets a double. The Brewers are back out in front. So Contreras bounces out to third. That's the first out of the inning, and now it's Willie Adamas. 15th home run of the year in inning number one, 422 feet away. And Adamas left field, hit well, got some carry, and Adamas sends another one out. His second home run of the day. Two run blast this time. As Adamas pops number 16. His third home run in two days. A three-run third inning so far. Brewers get three. An RBI double by Yelich. A two-run homer by Willie Adamas. Brewers lead it 4-1. to one. De La Cruz is on a roll right now. He's hit safely in five straight. And it is not a light-hitting five-game hitting streak. 11 for 21. 524 mark. And it's a bouncing ball headed up the middle. Far to his left. Adamas gloves on the second base side. Throws it wide of the mark. And it goes rolling into the Brewer dugout. That's the speed factor right there. Adamas got to it. He rushed his throw, though, and that throw was way off the mark. And I tell you what, that was a very athletic move by De La Cruz hopping over the diving first baseman, Owen Miller. So the walk to Fraley brings the tying run to the plate in Joey Votto. Votto standing in, runners at first and third. Votto's now hit safely in five straight. Eight for 16 in the five-game hit streak. Votto swing, high fly, deep right, tie game! The second level behind the bullpen, which does a dance once more. Joey Votto is on fire, and the Reds have drawn even. Joey Votto is just...
just kind of saying, hey, kids, let me show you how it's done. The Reds tie it up. Joey Votto, a three-run game-tying home run in the fourth. We're even at four as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Brian Anderson's on with a one-out single. Another man on for Milwaukee. Bryce Terang is the hitter. Line drive right center field. That's going to plug a gap and go all the way to the wall. Anderson's going to have an opportunity to score. He will. Terang is on his way to third. It's an RBI triple, and the Brewers have the lead again. Back and forth we go in Milwaukee. And the Brewers have hung a five spot on Weaver in the first three and a third innings. Anderson scored without a throw. Five, four Brewers in the fourth. Here in the fifth, runner at second base, two outs. The Reds are down a run, 5-4 Milwaukee. Jake Fraley is the batter, and Bryce Wilson, the new pitcher for the crew. And he swings and smokes one fair inside the right field line and into the corner. Here comes McLean around third to score. Fraley digging for second, and he will slam on the brakes there. Fraley ties it at five with an RBI two-out double into the right field corner. A game-tying, just fair double, five all. That's his first lifetime hit off Wilson. He had rocked Ray lifetime. He was 0 for 9 against Wilson until that hit. On to the seventh. We're still tied up at five. So now the lone runner at third base is T.J. Friedel with two out. And Ellie De La Cruz in. The 0-2 pitch is swung on. That's a shot in the left field for a base hit. De La Cruz breaks his bat, but he's able to get a base hit. Drive the run in with two outs, and the Reds take the lead 6-5. to five. Second hit of the game for Ellie, and the Reds have their first lead. Just sliced it right through the left side of the infield. Nice. Yeah piece of hitting. I'd be really interested to see if De La Cruz is running at some point here. And there he goes. The pitch and the throw on the knees and he is in there. And Ellie De La Cruz with the stolen base. Yeah Contreras just trying to get rid of it as quick as he could. That's what kind of speed Ellie De La Cruz has but they had no chance. He takes off again. Pitch down and in. Fame throw. There's no chance. Two steals. If he got a jump. He's going home. The throw. An RBI base hit, steals second, steals third, and the pitcher just completely, completely dejected. And De La Cruz the whole time was watching him, dancing down the line, and then he took off and they had no chance. Wow. Racetrack exhibition for De La Cruz as he steals home on the pitcher. Seven to five Reds. We go to the ninth. Reds trying to add to their two-run lead. Matt McLean will stand in, and that's going to be a balk on Uribe, and Friedel will be awarded second, second balk of the game. And Craig Council's none too pleased about it. And Council giving John Timpain an earful. And now Timpain off the mask. He just kicked him out. So he just kicked Craig Council out of the game as Council was walking back to the dugout. Council never really got anywhere close to John Tempain. And now he's going to. So now he's out to get his money's worth. Well, the standing rule, Tom, is that you cannot argue a balk. And when Council came out of the dugout, he had his palms up showing John Tempain, hold on here. I'm not going to argue here. I want to know what happened. And then on his way back, he uh, may have dropped a couple of words on Tempain that he heard. And the Brewers dugout, they are all furious, and they still want to know what's going on. Yeah, when I first saw it in live motion, it looked to me like he did not stop. But now that we've had a chance to see it one time in slow-mo, I do not see where the balk was. So and one on McLean. Friedel's at second, the 0-1 pitch. And a ground ball up the middle. Diving stop by the second baseman. Off balance throw off the mark and late. McLean reaches on an infield hit. Great third hit of the game for Matt McLean. And the Reds have him at the corners with nobody out. So now Jonathan India is up there. And India shoots a line drive to right. This will score Friedel as the Catch is made by Perkins. Friedel coming home. Here comes the throw to the plate. Not in time. McLean stays at first on the sack fly to right by India. And the Reds have stretched the lead to three. It's eight to five. The Reds tack on one more. It's now a three-run lead. Eight to five as we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. A base hit for William Contreras. He just served that softly right between Votto and the first baseline. And Votto playing off the line at first really didn't have a chance. Adamas today with two home runs, a line drive to center, and a strikeout. And De La Cruz goes to second, and they barely got him. We may get another look at this one. De La Cruz was rather nonchalant with that flip to second base. I just don't, I just don't know if there's a, an angle that is going to tell them differently than the call that was on the field. It's a close play. He's on the bag talking about McLean. Mm -hmm. He's on the bag. 
and took the throw, but the throw was rather casual and late from De La Cruz. The call on the field stands. The runner is out, game is over. So that's it. Reds win it. Final score, eight to five. The Reds beat the Brewers. Back to two games ahead of Milwaukee, and the Reds have just locked themselves into first place heading into the All-Star break.